These are the titles, so let us get directly into it. Electrons are ejected from a metallic surface with a speed ranging up to 4.6 times 10 power 5 meters per second when light with a wavelength of 625 nanometers is used. A. What is the work function of the surface? And B. What is the cutoff frequency of this surface? So we have speed given as 4.6 times 10 power 5 meters per second. And we have a wavelength of 625 nanometers. Now, what is one the work done? So, how can we get the work done? The work done is equal to the photon's energy subtracted by the kinetic energy. Now, the photon's energy is equal to length constant multiplied by the frequency so we'll have here the work done is equal to length constant multiplied by the frequency minus the kinetic energy is equal to half mv squared so we'll have here minus half multiplied by the mass multiplied by the velocity squared so let us substitute the values. So we have here Planck's constant, which is always 6.634 times 10 power negative 34 multiplied by the frequency. Now in the question, we have the wavelength. So how can we get the frequency? The frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength. So instead of frequency here, we will multiply by the speed of light which is always 3 times 10 power 8 divided by the wavelength which is 625 times 10 power negative 9 subtracted by half multiplied by the mass of the electron and we know that the mass of an electron is equal to 9.19 times 10 power negative 31 kilograms. So we took this mass because they told us we have electrons which are ejected from the metallic surface. Now if you're wondering why we took 10 power negative 9 here, it is because we are given the wavelength in nano. So we know that nano is equal to 10 power negative 9. Now this is continue. Multiplied by the mass which is 9.19 times 10 power negative 31 multiplied by the velocity squared. So the velocity is 4.6 times 10 power 5 but squared. So if we calculate this, we will get our work done. So get this as 2.21 times 10 or oh, negative 19 joules. Now because this is photoelectrons and we are working with electrons here, so we'll change this to electron volts. To have the unit in electron volts. So how can we change it into electron volts? We will multiply by 6.242 times 10 power 18 so and multiply this we will get approximately one point four electron volts
So for part B, what is the cutoff frequency? So how can we get the cutoff frequency? Let us see. So the cutoff frequency is equal to the work done in joule divided by Planck's constant. So the work cutoff frequency will be equal to the work done in joule, which is 2.21 times 10 for negative 19, as we got previously here, divided by Planck's constant, which is always 6.634 times 10 power negative 34. So after calculation, we found this to be 3.3 times 10 power 4 because this is frequency, the unit is hertz. Now for this, molybdenum has a work function of 4.2 electron volts. Find the cutoff wavelength and threshold frequency for the photoelectric effect. So we have here a work function of 4.2 electron volts. For the first part, we have to find the cutoff frequency. And for the second part, we have to find the threshold frequency. Now the cutoff frequency is equal to Planck's constant multiplied by the speed of light divided by the work function. And the threshold frequency is equal to the work done divided by Planck's constant. So now let us substitute the values. But before substituting the values, we will change this to joules because we will only work with joules. So to change it into the joules, we will multiply by 1.6 times 10 power negative 19. So let us do this. This will give us the work done as 6.72 times 10 power negative 19 joule. So the cutoff wavelength will be equal to Planck's constant, which is 6.634 times 10 power negative 34 multiplied by the speed of light, which is always 3 times 10 power 8 divided by the work done. Let's just calculate this here and get the value of the cutoff wavelength. So we'll get here 2.96 times 10 power negative 7. Because this is wavelength, the unit is meters. We'll do the same thing here. So we'll have the work done divided by Planck's constant. Which will give us 3 the threshold frequency as 1.01 .01 times 10 power 15 because this frequency, the unit is hertz.